spiritual songs may call them seem to be devoid of of very much content they kind of be very vague they try to hit a real large audience just to get as many people as possible to to like the song or whatever but when we read through the psalms right god's songs with through god's word the doctrine is is very clear and concise and and deep and meaningful and is enough to even cause division between people because some psalms don't sit well with people a very good example of that is the psalm we just sung before we started here psalm 139 is and i'm actually going to be hitting on that uh, this evening on that psalm as well because the subject matter for Psalm 21 kind of I, I want to explain a concept here that goes along very well with that and these are things that you know no believer should be upset or angry at the Word of God Amen. right and I'm taking a little bit of extra time before my sermon this evening to bring this up because of the fact that this concept has not has been so far removed from churches for so long that sometimes when you hear just pure Bible you can go like whoa wait a minute what's that you know it, it's a shocking and you might be like I never heard this before this is never anything that that that's ever been taught to me the, how can this be right you know and, and I understand that reaction when you first hear something that you're not used to hearing but what I ask you to do is to compare with Scripture what the Bible says and what the Bible teaches, because for every believer, that is the foundation. That is what should decide right and wrong is what does God's word say? What does the book say? Not what have I been taught? Not what sounds good? Not what makes me feel good? What does the book say? Just as just as real as you know, the reality of hell is an uncomfortable truth. Right? It's one of those things that it's not pleasant to think about. It's not polite, you know, in, in, in modern society to talk about hell, right? Because it's negative. A lot of people get offended if they, you know, just even at the thought of hell or that they might have done something bad enough to deserve going to hell. But how important is it to talk about that truth? If someone doesn't believe that they deserve to go to hell for their sins based on what the Bible says, then why in the world would they think that they need a Savior? And what is more important than that? Receiving Jesus Christ as your Savior is the most important thing. So you have to cover things that are uncomfortable or unpleasant that are true, like hell. And there are other things and other doctrines that are uncomfortable to deal with, especially in a society that increasingly is turning away from God turning away from the Bible, turning away from biblical morality, more and more things are becoming taboo and not being taught and not being touched on because unfortunately you also have a lot of preachers out there that are more concerned with lining their pockets, they're more concerned with filling their pews with people that are going to pay money than they are with just teaching thus saith the Lord. And they're in it for the wrong reasons. Well, what you're going to get at this church is someone who's not going to hold back. I'm not going to censor God's word. We are going through the Bible, and on our Wednesday nights especially, we are going through every single chapter in the entire Bible. Every word is going to be preached out of this book for as long as God lets me preach. I'm going to continue to go through book by book, chapter by chapter, and not leave anything undone, uh, you know, and not said. 